Hey, what's up high levelers? In today's video, we're going to learn how to set up interactive voice response system in Go High Level. Now, before I show you the setup, let's take a look at how it works and then we will dive into the configuration. Hello, Dave. Thank you for calling Sam's Chiropractic, where we get you well so you can live your life to the fullest. Please press 1 to book an appointment. Press 2 to reschedule or cancel your existing appointment or press any other key if you'd like to speak to our front desk. Hello, this is Sam's Chiropractic. How can I help you? Pretty cool, right? So you can set it up in high level as well. So let's dive in and see how we can do that. All right, so the first thing you have to do under your sub account is go to automation and then click on start from scratch. I'm going to call this workflow test IVR and the first thing we'll do is of course choose a trigger here. So all you have to do is search up IVR and then select this trigger right here. Now you'll see that it gives you an option to select a phone number so you can activate it on multiple ones or you just choose one for now. So I'm going to choose this one right here and then hit save. Now for our first action, as you notice that in the example I gave in the start of the video, there was a message being played and then we were asking the user to press a key. So in order to do that, just click on the plus icon here. And if you scroll all the way down, you will see this action, which is gather input on call. We can also use say slash play message, but that will only say stuff and it will not expect an input in return. So I'm going to select gather input on call right here and you can name it here. So I'm just going to say like welcome message here so we can identify this easily later. Then you have a couple of options. You can either say a message in which you will type in the text. So in the example, I use this option, but if you want to upload like a customized audio, you can also use play a message and then you can upload your file here, right? I'm just going to go with say a message right now because it has one advantage, which I really liked, which is I can also use the custom value name. So if an existing customer is calling and if you put in customer dot first name and it calls out your number in the, you know, AI generated voice, it's going to be pretty cool because it will build a personalized connection and would be really beneficial for your practice. So I'm going to copy the script I use in the start of the video and I'm going to paste that here. And as you can see, it starts with hello contact first name. You know, it works because it used the name that I had given. Then if I move towards the end, it asks the user to press certain keys to get certain actions done, right? So once we have the text ready to go, we can select the message voice to be a man or a woman. That's up to you. And then you can also loop it. So if you only want the woman or the AI woman to speak the text only once, you can choose one or you can choose to do it multiple times. Then you can also stop gathering input after five seconds. So if you, for some reason, if you want to control how your IVR responds and how many seconds you give to people to respond, you can customize it. You can also use the stop gathering on key press. So if they press a certain key and you know, want to connect it right away to somebody, you can use this option. It's going to be pretty beneficial. And you can, of course, stop gathering after, let's say, if you only want them to press one digit, like in my script, it's asking to press one, two, or, you know, three. So you can do like one digit here, and then that should be fine. Then once you have selected this, just hit save action, and then let's move on to the next step. So I'm going to add a plus icon here, and then we will add an if else condition, because now we want to determine what digit did they actually press, so we can take an action accordingly. So I'm going to call this detect digit right here. And then for the first branch, we're going to say pressed one. Then under segments, I'm going to select IVR gather and then select this welcome message and then select this digits thing. Then I'm going to select is and then type in one here. So if they pressed one, there will be a branch for that. And then let's add another one, which will be pressed two. And we'll do the same thing here. So we'll select IVR gather again, select digits is and two and then save action. So if you want to extend that further, of course, you can do like one, two, three, four, up to nine. And, you know, I've left the none here. So if they press any other digit, I want to take another action, which is connecting to a front desk officer right away. And I'm going to click on the plus icon here. And then if we go all the way down to IVR, or I'm going to choose say slash play message. Now here we want to basically acknowledge that, you know, once they have given us an input, we should acknowledge it and then give them the next steps. So here again, I'll choose the script that I used before, which is thank you for taking interest in booking an appointment with us. Please hold while we connect you to our front desk, right? Then the next thing is where we connect them to the front desk. And how do we do that? It's fairly straightforward. We click on the plus icon here again, and then we're going to search for connect and you'll see that we have connect to call. So we'll click on that right here. 
and then under connect call to, this is where you select the user. So if you need the lead to connect with your front desk, make sure that you have added them as a user in your sub account. Once you've done that, you will see them under here. I'm going to select this one right here. You can also choose to record the call if you want to. All right, so for the timeout, we have 30 seconds. So if the front desk does not pick up in 30 seconds, the call will end and as will this workflow as well. Now, what we can do to improve this is another trick that you can use using the IVR options we have at our disposal. So I'm gonna go and save this right now. What I'll do is I will add in another condition, which is if else, and then we're going to check if the call was actually picked up by the front desk. So I'm going to click here and then select the IVR connect call option, select this here, and then under call status, you're going to select is busy, or you can add multiple conditions like I'm just going to select or and then I'm going to select again call status is cancelled or we will add one more here and the last one would be call status is no answer right so now we can call it if friend just took the call or not right so of course if any of this is true that means that the call was not picked up, right? So in that case, what we can say is, we will select this option here and we can say, sorry, all our lines are busy at the moment. Please speak after the beep. And then hit save here again. And in order to add a beep to make it more realistic, we can add the same action here again. And then instead of say a message, I'm going to play a message. And this is where you can upload like an MP3 file of a beep, a very short sound effect that you can download easily from the internet. I'm going to click on upload here. I've already got that. So I'm going to hit save action here. And then the last step would be if you type in record, record voicemail is the option. So you will choose that right here. And then here you have got a few options. So you have stop recording after how many seconds of silence. You can define that or you can also add in like a pound key. So once you've done that, click on save action. So now you have a very engaging IVR system that will make things easier for your practice. So this was a basic demonstration of how the IVR system works in Go High Level. Of course, you can make it more extensive and take things to the next level. As an example, I'll show you one of the workflows that I built using the IVR to give you some inspiration so you can build things out as well. You can see that in the video, I built the left part where we pressed one and then I built out this portion where we are asking them to book an appointment and then connecting them to the front desk. But here's an interesting one. So in this example, I asked them to press two if they would like to reschedule or cancel their appointment. So what I do is I detect if they press two and then I have another condition where I check if the person calling actually does exist in my system and has an appointment. And if that is true, I take certain actions like I ask them that Okay, we can see that you already have an appointment. If you would like to reschedule, I'm going to connect you to the front desk right now so you can get it rescheduled. And if they say that they want to cancel the appointment, what I do is I update the appointment status right inside the system so they can actually cancel the appointment right away on the call with the key input, which is really awesome. And I love this feature because this can take customer support and service to the next level. And lastly, if they press any other key, I check for that. And then I try to connect them to the front desk. If they do not pick up again, ask them to leave a voicemail. So this is how you can use IVR to take things to the next level. This example I built out for a chiropractic practice. Of course, you can replicate it for any other niche or industry, and it should be fairly straightforward using these options. So that was all about this video. I hope you found some value and thank you for watching.